Yeah, Are we six feet well. apart? If you stand like there, kind of. I'm gonna jump in. You're gonna jump in? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. We're outside on location. There's airplanes and wind and rivers rushing by and Josh is lurking in the woods. <laughs> Told you I'd jump in. I was, I was hoping that you would. Uh, today we're out in Naramata at Naramata Falls. It's a little chilly out here, to be completely honest. And today we're doing a one versus one Polaroid photo challenge. That's the plan because right now I have two Polaroids. I have a vintage One Step SX70 and then the original SX70 land camera. So we got two working Polaroids, we've got a bunch of film and we're gonna take some cool pictures today. We've got color film, black and white film. I think you wanna shoot black and white first, right? I think so. Josh is going black and white. I'm gonna go color for the first round and that's the plan. So we're gonna load up our Polaroid film and we're gonna hit the trail. Dig that. Yeah. That looked cool. Just the tripod. <laughs> yeah. This is a long ways down with an awful lot of rushing water. Putting the Polaroid back in the case. On the way down is apparently a sketchy little goat trail, so I'm really not keen on breaking it. I'm not keen on breaking myself either. Here goes nothing. Dude. Not, this is not the way down. It's really, really loud, but it's beautiful. Check out all this water. Look at that. This is the Polaroid SX70 on a tripod mount with a cable release because in here, the light is enough that I'm only gonna be getting about a 60th of a second shutter speed, if not a little bit slower. So I really don't want any camera shake in this shot. And I also want to slow shutter speed so that the water kind of flows through the image a bit and we get a really nice curtain effect. I don't know if it'll work on the Polaroid, but it's worth trying nonetheless. these shots. Josh's a couple that turned out a little bit blurry just because his camera needs a lot more light than mine does so he wasn't really able to get a stable shot a couple times. He's got some really good ones. We'll go over them all in a bit. But so far all of mine have turned out green. Very green. Which I forgot Polaroids need to be at at least 13 degrees Celsius or higher otherwise you get a green color cast on your images. So I've just taken a couple more. They're developing in my pocket here trying to keep them warm and close to my body. But I was really a little bit disappointed to see that I've gotten a bunch of green photos. And hopefully these next ones work out. And then I'm loading up black and white. We'll 
we'll see what happens. It's cold up here. Yeah. A little chilly. Oh yeah. Josh has shot his last frame. I have four more shots. We're gonna make our way away from the waterfall because uh, it's loud and it's cold. And I'm soaked. Yeah. I'm soaked. Let's kick it. All right. Let's go. So I just made two images at this spot here. It's absolutely beautiful. This is, this is the shot that I was looking for. I'm really hoping these turn out. This is just so cool. Check this out. Hike down from the waterfall, back on the trail. It's a lot quieter now. I'm hoping that you can hear me really, really well. Um, I did end up taking three shots at that last spot that we were at on the trail. The two that I took the first time seemed a little bit underexposed, so I'm hoping this one turns out. If not, it is what it is. I have one more shot in my Polaroid here. Josh is out, so just walking our way back to the car, trying to find my last composition. And I haven't really decided what I want it to be yet, and I'm blown away by the tripod mount and the cable release for this Polaroid. By far, best purchase I've ever made. If you have a collapsing SX70 and you haven't picked those up yet, I got mine for $12 on eBay for the Polaroid tripod mount and for the release cable for the shutter. Awesome investment because these cameras really do need so much light to take a picture. And when it's a nice day out like today and you wanna be out taking pictures on it, but it's just a little bit too dark, throw it on a tripod, you can get some really cool shots. Anyways, let's continue on. Let's go get some pictures. One last shot, let's do it. All right, we made it back to the parking lot. We're done our hike, our little Polaroid adventure, so to speak. What do you think? What were your, how'd you feel? Shooting that, this is Josh's first time shooting film, right? Yeah. Any kind of analog photography. Picked Polaroid to bring him out because like instant gratification kind of thing. Yeah, what did you think of it? I was pretty nice. It was like good to really sit down and like zoom in with those shots, like really, really picture what you want to get going there. You really gotta take your time, right? Yeah, and, like, that's the thing. Be precise. So we may have not had the best light overall today. Um, I really wanted to shoot this today and it probably would have been a better thing to shoot on a really bright sunny day because Polaroids, like I said, need a lot of light to make good pictures and we have very overcast conditions today. So Josh's camera did have a little bit of a slower shutter speed. You've definitely got some blurry images. I've definitely got some blurry images out of some of them. But I think overall, we've probably got a couple of good shots. I shot two packs. I shot a pack of color and a pack of black and white. Uh, I definitely would like to come back out here, I think on a sunny day, how about you? Yeah. Sunny day, bring the Polaroids out again. I think we get a lot better results and I still have a pack of color film to shoot at a different time for a different video. So I'm not sure what we'll make, but it was a good time. Thanks for watching all the way through. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Tell us in the comments down below, would you rather shoot color or black and white on your Polaroid cameras or just on your film cameras in general? You wanna say anything else? No. 
No? That's a vlog, baby. That's a vlog. By the way, the camera Josh was shooting on was part of a giveaway that I did over on my Instagram a couple of months ago and he's shooting it for the last time before I send it off to the person who won it. So if you wanna win a camera in the future, I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 1,000 followers and then 1,500 and 2,000, so every 500, I'm gonna do a giveaway on Instagram. So if you haven't followed me already, you can follow me right here. It's at Brandon Steele. When we get to 1,000, we'll do another giveaway for another fun camera and you might be the lucky winner of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Have a good day.